Plug-in hybrids. Not something you've ever seen on this channel and for one very simple reason. I'm a person who likes to review cars that are interesting for people who have the same kind of passion for driving that I have and that like cars that are involving to drive. You know, that maybe even require a certain level of skill from the driver to be enjoyable, you know, shifting your own gears for example, um, managing performance, stuff like that. Old school driving if you want to say so. That's what I desire to do with my channel and I'm not so much into cars that are economical and I don't want to do the classic car review here, um, showing you the Passat in massive detail, you know. I think personally that's rather boring to watch and I leave that to other reviewers for that reason. I really want to experience this car and get as many interesting driving impressions of it as possible here. So join me for a nice in-depth test drive of this car because there's a lot going on here and there's a lot to take in actually when you're first driving something like this Passat GT here. The latest B8 Passat generation was launched in 2014 following a success story that has made this Volkswagen one of the 10 most built cars in the world. The GT came out this July as a uniquely styled plug-in hybrid model that combines a 156 horsepower 1.4 liter TSI petrol engine with an electric motor delivering the equivalent of 115 horsepower and 330 newton meters of torque. Together this hybrid system is good for a maximum output of 218 horsepower and 400 newton meters using a 6-speed DSG double clutch transmission with a third clutch to detach and shut off the petrol engine when the car is coasting only using kinetic energy. The electric motor is integrated into the transmission housing and gets its power from a high voltage lithium ion battery built into the floor right before the rear axle without any noticeable effect on the Passat's interior or trunk space. With 9.9 kW of capacity, it's good for up to 50 km of pure electric range and gives the Passat GTE a claimed fuel consumption of only 1.6 liters on 100 km with a total range of up to over 1000 km. What got me interested in the Passat GTE as a car to review for you guys is the fact that it's not something as boring as a price. Um, it has quite a few possibilities to be adjusted and to be set up for the driver and that's what makes it really interesting for me. So we see all these hyper cars, high performance cars using hybrid systems not only for economical reasons but also to enhance their performance. And this Passat GTE here has a similar system, I would say, with this GTE button here that I will talk you through that combines both the electric motor and the combustion engine to give you maximum performance and that has a unique driving experience that I will talk you through later, but step by step. Quite a bit to take in here actually for me. Um, we have three different buttons down here next to the shifter and the first button is the E-mode. So there are three different settings in this E-mode to set up the car how you like it. So normally you start up the car and drive off in full electric mode, only using the electric motor. And I have to say that's a really interesting and for me strangely enjoyable experience actually. Driving off in basically complete silence. Let's do that. Um, only using the electric motor. You only get road noise and a tiny whine from the electric motor which kind of sounds a bit like a train or a cable car engine or something like that so driving in basically complete silence is a strangely fascinating and enjoyable experience I have to say especially driving in cities and especially driving at night driving in this kind of silence is inspiring relaxing and for me to be honest with you would be one of the main reasons or would really be a reason to consider a car like this because I really really enjoyed driving this car in full electric mode at night in cities. <laughs> so yeah, driving in full electric mode is very interesting. I like it a lot I have to say and the performance is pretty decent. You can get up to 130 kilometers per hour as a top speed from this system here. 50 kilometers of range, well in my case it was 35 to 40 maximum. That's more realistic, I would say, but that's enough for commuting to work. You know, most people don't drive that far and especially um, people who drive shorter distances regularly, why not drive them on full electric mode, you know? 
you have 330 newton meters of torque and that's instant torque so when you drive off using all the power from this engine you can get some traction problems actually on the first few meters because yeah the torque is so instant you know driving off so a very interesting experience i have to say and i like that a lot driving this car only using the electric motor so now i'm in the hybrid mode and the hybrid mode as the name says combines both the combustion engine and the electric motor and yeah that's what you drive most of the time i would say using both engines the third mode actually is a battery recharge mode that uses the combustion engine to charge up the battery and this 1.4 liter tsi engine here i have to say does struggle a little bit with this car here the passat is not a small car it does have a decent size so i don't understand why they don't combine this with a diesel engine to be honest with you i think that would be much more effective and actually nicer to drive what's really really interesting about this car is this dsg transmission here which actually can be shifted manually but i didn't really care about doing that what's more interesting are the two drive modes that you have here the normal d drive mode and there is also a b mode and this b mode actually feels like driving with a car that does very heavy engine braking itself um, i think the system is using the electric motor primarily of course or only for recuperation but this i would call it engine braking this recuperation using this mode here is so strong that you hardly ever have to use the brakes in normal driving situations unless you want to come to a full stop so now i've taken my foot off the accelerator and i basically come to a full stop almost without using the brake pedal and what i want to explain to you guys is that driving like this not having to use the brakes ends up in a very very comfortable and relaxing driving experience because you just take your foot a little bit off the accelerator pedal let the car do its thing brake a little bit do your cornering and you're good to go again that's a very very comfortable driving experience it must be one of the most comfortable driving experiences that I've ever had in a car. The GTE is not the most pleasant thing to drive fast if I'm honest with you, even though its dynamic chassis control offers a good sport setting and firmer steering for winding roads. While the performance at full boost in the GTE mode was pretty impressive, I didn't like the laziness of the accelerator pedal and the DSG transmission's lack of responsiveness to manual shifting. Even in the sporty GTE mode, the system keeps on shutting off the petrol engine on corner entry, which causes a few hiccups when you request full power on corner exit. This delay can be very annoying, so you quickly end up adjusting your driving style to the power plant, enjoy the great seating position behind the slim steering wheel, and drive the Passat like a normal sedan. Most of the time I really try to get as much range out of this car as possible, because that's what I was interested in, hearing this really fantastic sounding claim by VW that with a full electric charge and then using the combustion engine you should get as low as 1.6 liters of fuel on 100 kilometers but I've honestly never been able to get that out of this car but maybe you shouldn't expect it um, realistically for me it was around 4 liters which is still really good I have to say just depends on what kind of driving you're doing I enjoyed this car the most when I was trying to drive as economical as possible, which must sound, yeah, horrible to some of you guys, but I did really like that. I mean, I like technical driving, I like clean driving, cornering with as little steering as possible, you know, using all the technology that this car is giving you to its maximum potential to get as much electric range out of your driving as possible is challenging in a very positive way. I mean, you don't have to care about that driving this car you can just enjoy how comfortable it is and do your normal driving no problem but for me as a passionate driver i have to say i really did enjoy driving this car as economical as possible i like the challenge about that so in the end my verdict is really simple i do like this car i'm still not convinced that it's cheaper to run than a diesel car at least here in germany but if you drive a lot in cities this could be a really interesting choice for you because, yeah, when we drive short distances 
especially in cities or when you're commuting to work of under 20 kilometers, you will never have to use the normal combustion engine normally because the electric motor has enough performance for a normal commute, you know? And I want to tell you guys, as my regular viewers who care about seeing sporty cars and are a bit old school like I am, I guess, when it comes to cars, be open-minded about this new technology before you judge it. I can only tell you that you should go out there and drive something like this because it's really interesting to say the least. I personally did enjoy this a lot and I would consider one of these as a daily driver. No doubt about that because it offers a driving experience that is unique and different. And it's not comparable to a price. That's, that's what I know, definitely. It's not this horrible eco driving that it's just driving but not interesting driving. It is a new sort of driving, even in something like this Passat here. And it's something that you have to experience to have an opinion about, I think. So I liked it a lot. I can tell you that the next videos will be about cars that are quite a bit sportier than this. But nonetheless, I just wanted to experience this car. And now I want to hear what you guys think about it. Shoot me your opinion in the comments below. Tell me what you think about plug-in hybrids. I mean, they are the future. We are going to see many, many more of these here in the future on our roads, not only in Germany, but probably in your country too. So tell me what you think about them. Have you experienced one? Did you like it? I really want to hear your opinion. And until then, drive safely. I see you in the next video. Take care.